How can we protect our borders? What are some ways we should cope with, the, God, cope with the massive immigration of foreign parties? And how can we make immigration a good thing? These are all things that we're going to discuss. I think instead of spending more money and man hours on trying to stop immigration, we should take a more political approach and a more geographical approach and simply move the border. Okay. So in November of 2005, DHS announced the launch of a secure border initiative, otherwise known as SBI. The SBI, um, the SBI is a multi-billion dollar program aimed at securing the U.S. borders and reducing illegal immigration. The system has uh, two main parts. The SBI net, which consists of like radar sensors, um, cameras to detect, identify, and classify the threat level associated with an illegal entry into the U.S. And the second part is the SBI tactical infrastructure which consists of fencing roads, lighting intended to enhance U.S. Border Patrol agents' ability to respond to the area of illegal entry and bring the situation to a law enforcement resolution. A Fox News opinion dynamics poll indicated the American people favored a proposal to build a 2,000 mile long security fence. The cost of building this fence would cost anywhere from four to eight billion dollars. The idea was deemed the Great Wall of Mexico. A standard 10-foot prison fence with razor wire, or standard 10-foot prison chain link fence topped by razor wire would cost just under a billion dollars, though it would not, um, it would not be as effective for like, you know, high, it's not very effective, but it would be adequate for low threat level areas of immigration. The second one is a larger 12-foot electrified, two-foot thick concrete wall that would cost about $10 million per mile along the 2,000 mile uh, border, Texas border. So if you think you think these billion dollars are kind of drastic, uh, so. so the U.S. is spending billions of dollars on a problem that should not be as extensive as it is. So here are some of my suggestions. Not only does it cost billions of dollars to build walls of this magnitude, but the cost of maintaining them, repairing them, and monitoring them is going to cost more in the long run than the actual wall is. What we need is a system that can operate without human intervention, take care of itself, get the job done, and just all around do work. So this is what I suggest we do. Down. <laughs> it catches immigrants and it fixes itself. The main point of my speech is it's a little more drastic, unheard of, and maybe unconsidered. But I think in the long run, it would have a, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> a huge positive impact on our society, and it's the extension of our U.S.-Mexico border farther to the south. The estimated illegal immigrants living in the United States in 2008 was 15 million, and that number is expected to increase to 83 million by the year 2030. The problem isn't just that the U.S. population is rising at a fast rate, but it's the population is rising and the amount of land we have is staying the same. We're running out of space and we're running out of jobs. Obviously, we live on a static planet that's not getting any bigger, so eventually, yes, we are gonna run out of land. But the majority, but the majority of the population <laughs> is due to Mexican immigration. And, um, but as, me as, a, as our population increases due to the um, Mexican immigration, the po Mexico's population decreases, leaving them with a declining amount of land needed to support their population. So this is what I suggest. Because of Mexico's lack of use for the land, every 100,000 illegal immigrants that cross the U.S.-Mexico uh, US border, we need to move the border 10 miles to the south. And this would give the U.S. an additional 20,000 square miles more land that we could urbanize and build a society into for every 100,000 immigrants. This would, in the long run, open up more housing, more jobs, or sorry, more housing, more cities, and more jobs for the American people. Not to mention all the untapped resources that is available south of the border. There's um, tons of mountains, um, you know, like wind energy, um, you know, solar energy, the forest where we can build log mills, which can help bring down the price of paper related products, open up more jobs. There's tropical rainforests, which are uh, more than likely full of undiscovered species of animals and plants that could, uh, 
that could help with medicine and science, advancements in um, medicine and science, and we'd and be, be inheriting a lot, a larger workforce that could help, uh, help bring back the economy, which would normally hurt since they'd be um, taking jobs, but all the new land we were crying would, there'd be plenty of jobs to go around. So with all the extra land and working population and uh, resources, we could start paying off the national debt. So ultimately, if everything works according to plan, this is how it's all gonna go down. First, we open up our borders and let all the illegal immigrants through, and then we start moving the border south. Because of all the extra land, uh, resources, just everything, our economy is gonna take off due to all the extra, all the extra stuff. And we take all the extra money, um, we take all the extra money and we buy the rest of Mexico. <laughs> we buy the rest of Mexico. All right, and then we um, we take all the money, we buy, we fix it up and flip it, and then we <laughs> and we sell it back to Mexico and get all that money back and finally flip them out. <laughs> Finance in the balance, but when we opened the borders, half their workforce moved to the U.S., so they wouldn't have enough money. They wouldn't have enough money to pay it off. So then we repossess it. <laughs> so then we repossess it, right. and then we we got Mexico free and clear with new paint, new shrubs. And, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right. So then, so with all the money we saved, we start buying all the countries south of Mexico, like Guatemala, Salvador, Honduras, Costa Panama. Every time we buy. One of the countries, the wall we need to build gets a little bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> and so eventually we get to the Panama Canal, which we built in the first place. And then we don't even need a wall, we just like fill it with sharks and alligators. <laughs> <laughs>